been really thankful that I've got my family around, especially my dog who is always there to give me some support when I need it. <laughs> I am really thankful for my mom. She and I talk on the phone pretty much every day. Um, the custodial and the people that keep Whitworth clean and kind of had to um, adjust their normal lines of duty um, just to make sure that we could go to sanitize classrooms and do all that stuff. Just how understanding the professors have been. I would say this year I'm definitely thankful for the flexibility of my instructors. I actually am an online this semester and if it wasn't for the Whitworth Flex Plan I would not, I would ha probably have to take a hiatus. A lot of the lockdowns have given me a, a chance to really build on relationships that I hadn't before. People that are missing a lot right now are my parents just because it's been hard not being able to see them, like they've made sacrifices. They're willing to like wait to see me until Christmas so that I can finish out the semester and take my finals here so I'm super grateful for them but I do miss them a lot. <laughs> yeah if I had to say I miss one person right now it would be my mom just because with her by my side, I feel like I could do anything in this world. And her not being here, I have to kind of figure out how to do that on my own. I miss my cousin a lot. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'm missing my little brother for right the most, because when I left, he was he was still still a young and, and you know, every time I go back, you know, his voice is a little deeper and he's a little taller. I'm like, oh, who's that? Uh, that's not who I left. My mom. Uh, she actually passed away this last year, and so going into this year, it's been really difficult um, not having her be around, and especially with the holidays, but I know that she's in a good place and that she is happy. I can feel that. During this semester, there's been a lot of issues that are new for everyone, and it's been really interesting for me to realize that um, I want to advocate for everyone, but we don't know how to do that yet. I've been finding that I've been trying to reach out to more of my friends, uh, which is something that I didn't used to do. Prior to this semester and the ending of last semester, I, I was, I've never done online school before. So it's my first time and I'm surprised at how well I did. I don't know if I've had enough time to process and reflect yet to honestly tell you that I know how I've changed. I do know I have changed. I don't know if I really know how. I'd say I really appreciate family and friends a lot more and I'm more conscious of who is around me, like my circle, the people in my life. Resiliency, um, just being able to stay disciplined and be easy on myself. Being able to see family that I didn't get to see over Thanksgiving will be something I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to being able to volunteer at the Humane Society more. Resting and spending time with family. Right now for me it's just a little thing, so just being able to you know, relax and you know, do the things that I love, in quiet and solitude, that'll be really, that'll be really wholesome. I'm looking forward to being home and getting home cooked meals. We can get through this together and I believe that if I can make someone stay better, then we're better as a whole. A lot of the time we forget that we're human beings and that things happen. So leaving yourself room for leeway, um, just thinking about your well-being all the time. You can also take every little day to prepare for the future, but it doesn't have to be planned out necessarily. You can just take it as it comes. This will all come to an end, and there's gonna be a day that we're, our community is gonna be on the hello walk, not having to wear masks so that you can see everyone smiling at you again. That's what I long for, that community, that fellowship, going back to church, you know, going back, you know, road trips, visiting places, traveling, being able to go back to Zimbabwe. We've been able to make the most out of these last 10 months, I'm sure we can make the most out of whatever obstacles we're facing um, whenever they come. It, it gets better, it, it genuinely does. I'm not a psychic, but I can genuinely tell you that it does get better. And when it does get better, um, you can hold me accountable and play this video and see that I said that and I'll be like, told ya, it, it gets better.